And we are live on board one of the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office patrol boats talking about continued precautions along our coastlines after two shark bites. We're continuing to bring you the latest coverage out of Oak Island tonight. The precautions continue in Brunswick County after three shark bites in three days. Two of those injuries life changing for two children. Officials are patrolling the coastline now looking for any signs of sharks that could be potential problems. Caitlin Stansel is live on one of those patrol boats. Caitlin, how long are they expecting to keep up these precautions? Well, Fran, the helicopter patrols are set to end after today, but you're going to see these boats in the water. They're going to continue to patrol these waters along the Brunswick County beaches, but it's normal to see him, them out here. This is part of their continued summer safety strategy. What's not normal, though, are those two shark bites. Officials say that these in incidents are the worst that they have seen could remember at this at their time working here in Brunswick County, but they do think that these are isolated cases and they continue to advise anyone that gets in the water to just be aware of their surroundings. Uh, will it happen again? We don't know that, um, you know, but we just want people to to be careful. And, um, you know, I was on the boat all day yesterday and did I see people in the water? Yeah, I mean, there was people in the water and, and they were seemed to be at ease or appreciative to know that we are patrolling um, as well as the, the individual towns beach patrols. Officials said that while patrolling, they have seen a couple of sharks out here, but that's something that's very normal for this area. They've also seen plenty of fish and lots of jellyfish. We'll have more coming up on WECT News at 6. But for now, live in Brunswick County, Caitlin Stansel for WECT News. All right, thanks, Caitlin. Now, 533, if you're just tuning in, here are the top stories today. First, we want to go to Caitlin Stansel live in Oak Island for a quick look at efforts to keep beachgoers safe in the wake of those shark bites. Boats are patrolling waters off the Brunswick County coastline here, looking for any sharks that may be potential troublemakers. Now, this comes after three shark bites in three days. Two teens actually losing limbs in incidents that happened on Sunday in Oak Island. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Office has been monitoring these waters. They've been using a helicopter from above, and that kind of patrol will end today. But they will continue to keep boats in these waters, something that they do every summer. Coming up at 6, we'll talk about what officials are doing to continue to keep beachgoers safe. Tonight, an ongoing effort to keep you safe in our local waters. WECT's Caitlin Stansel is live in Brunswick County with the latest on how officials are keeping an eye out for you by sea and by air. Caitlin? Well, Fran, officials in Brunswick County plan to stop their air patrols after today, mainly working with their boats from here on out, something that they do every summer. And they've been monitoring the waters here off the Brunswick County coastline for any sharks that could be potential threats to the shoreline. We just got back from one of those patrols. If we take a look at some video from earlier today, it's not uncommon to have shark sightings in these waters, but after three shark bites in three days and two teens who sustained life changing injuries, this area has been on high alert. Officials here are doing everything they can to give this community back its peace of mind, but making sure that swimmers are being cautious and aware when they venture into the waves. I was born and raised here in Southport and, um, you know, been on the water my whole life. And, you know, this is probably the worst that I can remember. And I've talked to people that have been here a lot longer than I have. And uh, they said it's the worst that they can remember as well. Um, is it an isolated case? I think so. Um, you know, we normally don't have these type um, of attacks. At last check, the 16 year old boy, we reported that he was in good condition after that shark bite that happened on Sunday in Oak Island. We also reported that a 12 year old girl was hurt in a similar incident. She lost a limb as well uh, on Sunday in Oak Island, but we actually just received a statement from her family. You may remember we reported that her leg was injured too. Well, they say that she remains in stable condition right now and her doctors expect her to keep her legs, something that the family says they're very grateful for, though she still has a long road of recovery ahead of her. And we're live in Oak Island talking about the next steps officials are taking and precautions and keeping beachgoers safe after those two shark bites. Patrols are starting to die down along the coast and officials in the town are looking to the future 
and what this scary situation means for that community. We want to go to Fox Wilmington's Caitlin Stansel. She's live in Oak Island tonight. Caitlin, what did officials say are the next steps for precautions following these incidents? Well, actually, when we say things are getting back to normal, what that means is that the helicopter that was patrolling these waters won't be back out in the morning, but the boats that were sweeping this shoreline will continue to do that, something that they do every summer. We have beautiful beaches here in Brunswick County, and we welcome everybody, and uh, we feel like they're safe. Um, could it happen again? Sure, but it could happen in South Carolina somewhere. It could happen on up the coast. Um, you know, every coast has sharks, and that's just the world we live in. Officials say it's not uncommon to see sharks in these waters, but it is rare that bites, especially as severe as the ones we saw here, actually happen. Officials do think these were isolated incidents, and they hope that their patrols gave this community back its peace of mind in knowing that officials were doing everything that they could to handle the scary situation. So we asked beachgoers what they thought. I can't say it really makes me feel any safer. I mean, I can't see what the helicopter's really going to do uh, about sharks in the water. I mean, I, they're not going to be able to stop the problem by doing patrols, but I'm sure it made a lot of people feel safer than they were before. But with the patrols and everything, I thought it would seem a little bit safer, but at the same time, like, I just, after hearing what happened yesterday, I didn't really feel safe going back into the water. While they never closed the beaches here in Brunswick County after those bites, they are still asking swimmers to be cautious if they do go out in the waves. Live tonight in Oak Island, Caitlin Stansel, Fox Wilmington News. Since those two shark bites, officials have been patrolling the coastline from the sky and the sea, and the town has looked at changing shark fishing in the area. But how do visitors feel knowing that the shark or sharks that bit those two victims is still in our waters. WECT's Caitlin Stansel is live now at Oak Island. Well, Fran, for the most part, what we heard from beachgoers is that they felt indifferent about the patrols happening along the shores here in Oak Island, commenting that sharks aren't a rare thing here. It's something that they see every day. But what officials said was that they did everything they could to hopefully give this community back its peace of mind, using a helicopter from above and boats in the water to patrol and spot any sharks that could be potential threats. Many officials saying what happened here Sunday is something they've never seen before, but they believe these shark bites were isolated incidents and they caution swimmers to be aware of their sur surroundings while in the water. And we asked beach visitors tonight if seeing those sheriffs, the sheriff's office in the water the past two days made them feel safer during this scary situation. To me, Oak Island is my home and a place that I love to come. So I'm hoping that this was a rare occasion and hopefully they'll swim out. But I feel good about what Oak Island, at least the attention that they're putting towards re remediating the situation. I mean, how much can they really do? I mean, they, there's hun hundreds and hundreds of sharks. I mean, I mean, I guess it makes some people feel better. So in the long run, I suppose it's good. These incidents have really put Oak Island on the map, even globally. The mayor here in Oak Island commenting on Facebook saying that she's seen coverage from media outlets as far away as Germany. But with the rarity of these circumstances, she says it's no surprise that it's drawn so much interest, not just across our country, but across the world. Live in Oak Island, Caitlin Stansel, WECT News.